Well, welcome to the second lesson of the second module. Now, in the first lesson, we learned about the terminology that's used in kinematics, and now the next problem is, is to apply it to mechanisms. So, like so many other engineering disciplines, the simplicity of the drawing is important. So you don't really need to spend a lot of time in detail describing these mechanisms. So in order for us to simplify this matter, we're going to use a symbolic representation called a kinematic diagram. Now the kinematic diagram is only needed to show the rigid parts of the kinematic operation and disregard any other superfluous parts. So what we want to do then is just to simplify, use symbols, and try to represent these mechanisms without too much clutter. Now, uh, looking at what we need to do then, as I said, we're going to show only the primary function of the, of the mechanism. We're going to try to keep an approximate uh, size and shape it doesn't have to be drawn to scale. You can use either a, a hand sketch on graph paper or use a computer program like AutoCAD. And there is uh, instructions on how to do that in the um, assignment section of the of the on uh, uh, the online assignment. So uh, the third thing is is to label all the components so we know what it's going. Um, into this mechanism. Now, the steps basically are very simple, just three steps. First of all, you have to establish a starting point. It's called the frame. And this is also sometimes called the base. So we'll start out with this one base point on which the machine or mechanism is placed. And then from there, we'll go further. Second of all, then we'll sketch all the links and all the joints that are going to go into this mechanism. Links, of course, uh, being uh, rigid forms and joints meaning connections. And then once we have got all the links and joints drawn, then we'll identify and we'll place, <coughs> identify all the uh, links and joints and points of interest. So we can look at the diagram and we can see what all the parts are. How's this done? These are the symbols. All the links can fall into these categories. First is the frame. The frame is nothing more than a straight line with a hatch symbol underneath it. This represents the base. It could be the base of your hand. It could be the base on a table. It could be a base somewhere on a wall. Whatever the uh, machine is attached to from which it uh, will start to activate. The um, second is the, the simple link. And this just has two uh, connections. Okay, just two points. Uh, the complex has more than two. In this case here, I represented three points. And it also is shaded. So you not only do you draw the three points, this does not have to, have to represent the exact shape of uh, a link. All you need to do is just show some kind of a simple form with the uh, proper uh, connections on it. And then there's a couple of very special ones here. This will be the crank and the rocker. The crank goes 360 degrees around, and the rocker oscillates. So it goes between these two degrees. So instead of rotating, it just goes back and forth. 